All right, Shalom, Shalom. Let's say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all your brothers teaching in truthful, in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. All right, under the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Tata Yav, Jim, that's Boston, coming back once again with a quick impromptu. And, uh,. <clears throat> As you can see, 2023 is uh, starting off with a bang. And that's why, uh, uh, you know, it was coined, uh, you know, the, the title that Elder Tahar gave it. Hopefully, all the uh, prophecies come forth of this year you know, um, in this year, and, you know, it's, it's a lot of things going on, uh, it's, and it's the most highest plan to, uh, get you to the final conclusion of the matter that he who is everything, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, is the omnipotent ruler of all things, everything. Okay? So with that being said, right, you have uh, <clears throat> people that still have faith in uh, uh, this system that they got here in Babylon the Great. A lot of things are about to uh, proceed in the downfall of this kingdom, right? And truth be told, the only justice that you're going to uh, see is severe judgment, okay? Which is fair. Alright. With most of these uh, uh, judgments that the so called white man decrees ends in a horrible uh, state of affairs. Okay. Prison. Prison is not correcting at all, it doesn't correct anything. In certain cases, uh, uh, in most cases, because you have paid a debt, your debt to society, okay, which was going in prison, when you come out, you can't have a regular life. Why? Because of that, that felony charge that's upon you, all right? And that felony charge never goes anywhere. So, it impedes you from getting, uh, work, making a, a decent wage, and you're forever stigmatized about whatever wrong uh, doings you did in the past, even though your maturity level may have changed and, you know, uh, 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 your behavior habits uh, are different in accountability. Okay, they still won't let you live it down, and that's why we need the perfect judge here, man. Okay, I said all that to say this, man. You know, the downfall of this kingdom is happening, and uh, the people that's in charge they're about to get the most severe uh, uh, punishment. All right. So I'm going to bring out a couple of scriptures, and then I'm going to show you the end result of of what their, their final judgment is going to be. Real brief, it's going to be fast, so, you know, a couple of scriptures and then a video at the end, and that should be uh, uh, fitting enough, you know, to bring out the Lord's uh, will, Okay.
It's Isaiah 32 and 5. It says, The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. Right? And these people that's uh, the liberal people are, are the scoundrels. Okay? They're the scoundrels. They say that prison is a reform. They say they're trying to help the, the, the poor and the meek. But the only thing that you keep on seeing is uh, uh, dollar amounts going up, all right? Them influencing people on going backwards morally, all right? And the push of the, the, <clears throat> the grain of rice, total control, enslavement, okay? Enslavement of every single race on the, on the planet, man. Okay. So they're not to be respected. These people, these people are foul, man. For the vile persons will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord to make empty the souls of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fell. Right? So all the lies that they push forth about <clears throat> the Israelites having power or uh, 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 not being the people on the face of the earth. Okay? Because <clears throat> they wanted to keep their position of power. Right? So they make they make these these falsehoods of these lies, okay. And the illusion of 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 grandeur, baiting and hooking everybody, okay. After slavery, telling them what they could have, and making sure they can't get to it, okay. The old carrot on the end of a stick. With a string tied to it in front of the, the horse to make him go. You see? And the horse being uh, uh, Israelites. Okay? You got to reach for it. Just like that old uh, Geico commercial. With the uh, the lady inside the the, uh, the the bag store. Okay? And the old man pulling the, the dollar back every time. You got to be quicker than that. You see? And that's what type of life we live here, all right? This person that's in charge, which is the Edomite, okay? The so-called white man, okay? And it's not a mystery. He, This guy is in charge of everything. That's why his face is on the money. That's why he, he don't get, he's not in trouble like other men. That's what the scriptures say, okay? It's time for... for you know, to talk to older black men that come from a time where the billy club was slapped upside their head or they couldn't go to school, they had to get busted. These people's brains are empty. They're clueless. They're dark. Nothing's coming out of their, their mouth, man. And that's why it's a gift. This is a gift that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai bestowed on certain men <clears throat> to get a a clear bird's eye view, all right, of the situation that's going on. That's why we, we come out and we go on the highways and byways and we tell it like it's supposed to be told, man. You're not sugarcoating shit, all right? You're not telling the people smooth things, you know? And that's another thing, man. I, I watched a, a goddamn little snippet of... Uh, 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 of TD fakes, man. These people don't even know why they did, man. They don't even know. They don't even know why they're standing in front of this, this miscurant, okay? And he's not preaching the gospel. And it wasn't one dry tit eye in, in the house, man. And this dude ain't saying nothing. He's, he's babbling. To be honest, 
And that's what I mean when I said they don't understand the, the judgment that has to come down on their oppressor, man. Okay? Jake need to be fed, man. He need to be fed real quality nutrients, okay? And when I say that, I'm talking about the word, the scriptures, man, okay? It says, the instruments also of the churl of evil, his devices wicked, devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speak it upright, okay? <clears throat> So, you know, the, the outcome of this whole uh, Tyree thing that's going on in the South, man, and, and the best they can do is we got to hit them where it hurts. Let's, let's sue them for everything. They got. Man, you Jake going to get enough, man. You, you don't know what time it is. Money's not worth anything to the so-called white man. Okay. Their pockets is deep. All right. And the, the fact of the matter, the FRN is up. It's not worth anything. Okay. So while you are uh, trying to, to, to shuck and jive for that penny in the world, you should be, you know, doing the work of your how about Shem Yahweh Shai and getting that real penny so you can get the up out of this place, man. Jake don't get it, man. They they walk and grope in the noonday. It's still uh, 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 a good time to be had here in Babylon the Great in their minds. I think it's talking about the Super Bowl. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Some brothers enjoy sports. They watch it, okay. But it's not our, that's not our passion. That's not our, we're not going to be writing down stats and, you know, going over the numbers and, the, the probabilities and, and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i don't think no brother is that deep into sports to give up the word of the heavenly father okay and that's just me personally talking like a man but you know what i'm saying everything's balanced man but these jake man they go all the way man <laughs> they sighing they oh and on with the Man, it don't matter, man. What matters is you, you sigh and cry for the Lord to come and deliver us out of this hellhole, man. This place is fucking it's worse than ever. Worst case scenario than ever. Where you can't even get fucking real food no more. Dude, fucking, man. It's just, the list goes on, man. And that's why this dude has to be brought to justice, right? So the justice that's coming for him is a. Uh, uh, let's get it. I'll get it. Cause this dude has to be put the rest. He has to be put down. Slocky brothers. <clears throat> This is what's going to happen to these vile people. All right. This is Isaiah 63. It says, who is this that cometh from Edom with thy garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. All right. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai coming. Okay. Let's read on the, on the NLT in LT side, it says, Who is this who comes from Edom, from the city of Basra, with his clothing stained red? Okay, it's stained red. All right. Who is this with royal robes, marching in the great strength? It is I, the Lord, announcing your salvation. It is I, the Lord, who has the power to save. So no more looking to the white man. Okay. Which is the nation of Edom. Alright. All his all his bread and circus ain't gonna save you. All the FRNs in the world ain't gonna save you. 
All right. Matter of fact, when you go back to Deuteronomy 28, all right, and 68, you see that this is the only man that's going to buy you, redeem you, okay? And that's the Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. And his garment is going to be stained red. Why? Because it's going to be a lot of head busting, okay? In front of you moving, all right? When Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai comes back. All right. It says, Why art thou red in thine apparel and thy garment like him that treadeth in the wine fat? <laughs> okay. So he's getting down to business. He said, <clears throat> I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. Right? For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment. Okay. So he's coming back for Edom and the wicked. Okay. Because enough is enough, man. All right. Let's get this real quick because the vessel that he's coming back on, right, it's going to be, and I'm going to show you a video, it's going to be mightier than that vessel that you see in the video. So this is the description of the chariots, right? When you read 2nd Ezra 13 chapter, and it also says that it's a chariot so big that it looks like a mountaintop coming, right? And the Lord is going to proceed for one of these uh <clears throat> vessels okay it says now i beheld the living creatures behold one will upon the earth by the living creature with his four faces okay and when you read the nlt is breaking it down as well okay <clears throat> it says the appearance of the wills and their work was like unto the color of a barrel, okay? Which is a color, I think it's green, you know? And they four had one likeness in their appearance, and their work was, as it were, a will in the middle of a will, all right? So a vessel, all right? With a, uh, some type of propulsion, engine that's how it flew okay it says when they went they went upon the their four sides and they turned not when they went all right so these these are the the basic uh, uh explanation of how the the chariot move left to right up and down so on and so forth just like you see in the videos okay and if you read this chapter all the way through, you'll see that. But that's just a, a vision of, you know, the mighty uh, uh, vessels that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is uh, made to put forth his son on this earth once again. Right. So the final judgment is going to be, uh, uh, you know, nukes getting rained down on them. And then these uh these vessels shooting laser beams. You know, second Ezra 13 chapter goes into it. You know, I won't go to it, but uh that's his final conclusion, you see. And the video is uh <clears throat> not that long, it's just two minutes, but a couple of seconds. But this is what's gonna be happening above the the skies are in the in the heavens, so to speak. All right, when this devil sees Yahweh Shai coming back to get rid of his ass. All right, and the wicked. All right. 
So that ball or that orb was there cruising. By the time when the the jets was hitting their mock speed to come for it, you didn't even see the ball no more. Or the 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 orb anymore. It was out of sight. Okay. So they don't have nothing to deal with the true judgment that's coming forth for them. All right. And that judgment is coming in, in, in righteousness. All right. And it's going to hit hard and heavy, man. And Esau ain't got nothing to do with it, man. He, he can't he can't do anything with it. He ain't going to be able to, to hold a, a flame to it. But the Lord going to take down this place. And you got to be tired of this place, man. If you ain't tired of this place, you, you ain't in the right spirit, man. All right. So that's it. You know, I want to give all praises due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. And double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom, Abad Babal, and Kwam Yasharallah.